What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my review of The Last of Us Episode 5. So obviously I'm totally late to this, like really late. The episode got dropped early on Friday because Super Bowl was on Sunday. I was DJing all weekend so I never got round to watching this episode till last night. So yeah, that's that. But episode five, what a really, really good episode this was. The show is just such a solid show. Like, every episode has been really, really good so far. Some better than others. Some have been completely surprising, like episode three, where we just focused on Frank and Bill. I did not did not expect that, and I loved it. I really loved the fact that they just went down that route, and they just decided to tell you, like, a really beautiful story about two characters, change their story around from the games but still keep it about them and I, I just really liked the choice that they made to do the episode and some of the changes that they've made so far I just feel like they're hitting the nail on the head all the time now before I watch this episode episode 5 I did see online because it's so annoying but for some reason every single like movie TV show Instagram account or Facebook account or YouTube <laughs> channel seems to always want to just post spoilers straight away so i did see some things but it wasn't anything that spoiled it for me because i have played the game so i knew i knew exactly what was coming as soon as, soon as we seen sam and henry in episode four i knew what was coming so going into this episode i expected the story but they did change some stuff like sam is now deaf in this episode which hmm i don't necessarily know why they made him deaf because I mean, I guess it just adds a different aspect to the character, but they didn't necessarily need to make him deaf. I would have probably preferred it if he talked because you get to know him a little bit better, but I didn't mind that he was deaf. And you do feel bad for him because he's in this world and he's deaf. Like, I can't imagine go being born into the world of The Last of Us when there's all this zombie infection fungus thing going on and the world's just absolute chaos and being deaf when sound is so important within this world. So, you know, I can see why they probably chose to go down that route. But yeah, I don't think it was that necessary. But I also did like it as well. So I wasn't it didn't it wasn't an issue for me. And there's obviously a few things in this storyline that isn't from the game, like that school dinner lady called Kathleen. <laughs> uh, she just isn't in the games. And to be fair, I think she's the weakest part of the show so far i'm glad that she wasn't in it much i'm glad that this is all spoilers by the way i'm pretty sure you've seen it already but i'm glad that she died at the end of episode five it's nothing to do with the actress who plays her. i just don't feel like she was a good enough character to make me believe her role i just didn't care i didn't really care about her to be fair i actually couldn't wait for her to die and at the end of episode five where that little baby clicker jumps on her head and rips her face off uh, me and all my friends, again, we watched it in VR. We were all just like, yes, yes. We were just so happy that she died. What's wrong with us? Yeah, they're the only two negative things that I can think of that were in this episode. Even though Sam being deaf wasn't a negative, I actually liked it. I just wasn't too bothered about the whole new idea of him being deaf. So, yeah, that's all I can think about as to the things that I didn't really like that much. As for the rest of the episode... It was so good, like so good. It was a little bit slow at parts, like, you know, you spend a lot of time with Henry, Joel, Sam, and Ellie, and they're just trying to get to know each other. Henry was a really, really good uh, character. I mean, he is in the games, but this one, like, it is different to the games. It's not exactly scene for scene, but Henry was really, really good in the show. I really did like him. Whoever played him, the guy who played him was really good. And uh, I was actually sad to see him go at the end. I just... And I, I'm glad they stuck to the story. I'm so glad they actually stuck to exactly what happens with the characters in the story. But I was thinking at one point, like, are they going to stick to that or not? And I was excited to see if they were going to change some things. Because in the previous episodes, like I said, I, I've been really happy with the changes they made. But this episode, we spend a lot of the time before things start getting mental <laughs> with Joel and Ellie, Sam and Henry. And they're just getting to know each other. And Joel and Henry have similar relationships with Sam and with Joel and Ellie, like, they're kind of going through the same thing. They're both trying to just take care of this relative or friend. Um, and I did like to see Joel kind of bonding and getting to like Henry, you know. They were kind of wanting to look after each other and help each other out towards the end. And, uh, yeah, I just thought that that was done really, really well. 
But let's go into the main part of this episode. So this episode, the whole thing that kicks off is literally the, the exact scene where you play as Joel in the game, you go up, there's a sniper shooting at you and Ellie and Sam and Henry and you're hiding behind cars, and then Joel goes up while you go up as Joel and you go and shoot the sniper, and then you take a sniper and in the game that's when you actually get that gun for yourself. I loved that. I loved it because it was just like it just reminded me of when I played the game and when I got the sniper. And then you get that whole big shootout of um, when all the the people are coming down the hill in all the cars and you have to take them out. That's pretty much pretty much exactly the same as the game. And I just love to see it. The only difference was that Kathleen was a part of it. But yeah, wow. I just I really loved that whole scene. And then it got crazy. Like crazy, the amount of horde of zombies or clickers that started coming out the ground. I was like, oh, sick. When they started first coming out, I was excited because I was like, okay, this is going to be really cool. But then when I seen how many there were, I was like, oh, shit, this is way more like epic than the game. And, and I loved it. I loved the fact that they put so many clickers all over the place. And then the bloater comes out, and the bloater was so good, like, amazing. I do wish that we got to see a little bit more, but, I mean, we got enough of the bloater. It wasn't like we didn't get enough. I just wanted more of the bloater because it was just a really sick scene to see a real-life, well, a live-action bloater just ripping the heads off people and just, you know, just going crazy. So I can't wait to see more in future episodes because the bloater is still alive. Uh, I mean, there was multiple bloaters in the game. But I guess maybe they're just trying to save this one bloater to be like the main bloater. <laughs> Same bloater loads. Save it to be just the one bloater in the show so we're just not having loads of them. And it becomes, I was going to say unrealistic. But I mean, the whole thing's completely unrealistic. But you get what I mean. This whole action part of the episode was so well done. I did really like Ellie in this episode again. Especially when she's like trying to climb and crawl through all the different clickers and the people that are fighting. She crawls into the window of the car. And then the baby clicker climbs... <laughs> the baby clicker climbs in the car and then starts doing these weird movements around the car. I thought that was really well choreographed. Uh, the kid who ever played the clicker did a wicked job. And I just thought it was all really well done. The CGI, the special effects... Just everything, Joel just in the window taking them all out. It just feels exactly like how the game should be adapted. It, it, it's exactly how a game should be adapted. You know, they're sticking so true to the game at certain points that are important. And then they're sort of maybe changing a few little things here and there. Maybe some environments and locations are different. Some of the dialogues obviously different. It's not all the same dialogue. But I feel like this is just a perfect adaptation for a video game. I don't remember seeing a video game adapted this well into live action like a TV show ever. So I'm loving this. It is just so good. Then the ending was just as sad as it is in the game. Maybe even a little bit more sad maybe because... It, well, it's just more realistic, and Sam in this was deaf, he couldn't speak, he's been bitten, and he knows, well, he's just scared. And the fact he writes on this little Hetcher sketch, or whatever that's called, I think it's called a Hetcher sketch. But that thing that he writes on, and he's basically saying that he's scared, and he wants Ellie to stay up with him, and he's worried in case all people turn into them monsters, and he asks... Uh, are we still inside when the monster sort of takes over? Are we still there? And Ellie cuts her hand open and tries to use her blood to heal his wound. I was unsure whether this was going to work or not. And I thought, don't tell me this is what's going to happen now. Please don't do it that Ellie can just now put her blood on people and heal them. Thankfully, they never did that. Uh, she was just trying to be nice and hoping for the best. And unfortunately, it never worked. And uh, yeah, we got the whole same ending as the game in that. For, for Sam and Henry's ending anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm just so glad they stuck to it. It was impactful. I thought the acting on everyone's part was so good in this episode. Joel, I just love Joel. I love how Pedro Pascal is playing Joel. He's just doing such a good job. I really believe him. You can feel his like stress and his struggle that's going on within, with inside of him. You can see how he's starting to care a little bit more for Ellie. And, you know, I just feel like Pedro's doing a really, really good jo job <laughs> job as Joel. I'm really, really enjoying watching Joel as a character. Bella Ramsey as Ellie, I say it every episode. She is sap absolutely sick. I'm loving her. There was one moment at the very end when Henry blows his own brains out when he realizes what he's done and he's actually killed his own little brother. Ellie's reaction to that, how she was so frightened but shocked and then crying. I just thought that that was a really good performance from Bella Ramsey. I think she's doing great, and I love seeing it. She's just doing really, really good. And again, like I said, Sam and Henry did an amazing job, the actors who played them. I just wish we kind of got a little bit more 
well, any dialogue from Sam, it would have been nice to have him speak. Because it would have just felt like you got to know him a bit more. But again, it wasn't that much of an issue. But I love this episode. There is only four episodes left. I just hope that they're like an hour and 20 minutes each. Because there's just so much left of this story that that is going to be told because they did say season one of the season one of the show is going to be the whole first game so we've got a lot to go through i can't wait i i I believe they're going to pull it off i can't wait for the ending of this i can't wait for the ending i can't wait to see what they do with it but so far i'm absolutely loving it so for me if i was to give this episode a rating i would give it oh it's hard to say because it's somewhere in between eight and a nine but close to a nine so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten So that's it. That's my review. Please drop me a like if you enjoyed this. And let me know down in the comments what what do you think to this episode? What do you think to the whole show so far? Do you like it? Do you not? Do you remember that whole scene with Joel when he's got the sniper and he's shooting out the window? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. And if you are new here and you want to stay updated with my videos, please hit that subscribe button. That'd be amazing for me. But once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one.